Welcome to this video on using Netford DPI data in SolarWinds Orion. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netford. I am now logged on to my SolarWinds Orion console. So just to explain the setup here, we've got a couple of web applications running in our portal. And what we also have is users complaining that response time is slow. So when they try and load up a web page, they're getting spinning icons, and when pages try and load up, it takes ages to get all the resources loaded up on the page. You can see you get blank pages and basically a lot of users are frustrated with the way things are working. Now we also have evidence here within Orion to suggest that there is a problem. We've got a red status here on one of the servers. And we've got some events coming in which suggest that we're actually processor time here, CPU levels are running very high. So in fact, running at 100% here at the moment. So let's try and figure out what's happening. So we click here on the server. And if we look at the vital stats, again, it shows CPU 100%, memory usage isn't too high. Response time doesn't look too bad. Let's go back to summary and take a look at the real-time process view. See if we figure out what's happening. So it's just checking processes here at the moment on this server. Should see in a second. So we've got the Apache, we're running Apache web servers. CPU here 84% at the moment. So it looks like something's hitting our web server here. It's certainly hitting the web service that's running and it's causing the CPU here too to run high. So it doesn't look like it's some local application running on the server that's causing this. It's a possibility here, some sort of web traffic. Let's close down that here and take a look. So we've got another element here, which is forensics powered by Netfort. So this data is coming from Langardian, which is doing deep packet inspection of the, so of the traffic going to and from the web servers. Now it also confirms here that 94% almost all traffic to and from this device is web, HTTP. Some other small amounts of other traffic, but let's take a look at the HTTP traffic. So there's a single domain running on that server. So let's see who's accessing it. So two machines, but there's one machine in particular here. So 1011, let's copy that IP. Let's drill down and see what's happening. So it's accessing a resource in the server called stress.htm. So that would suggest that there's a user here that's running some sort of maybe stress test on the server. In the last hour, they've, the time they've hit this server, they've run this um, test possibly 750 times here to access that resource. So let's try and manage the situation. So I'm gonna to go to device tracker and let's take a, do a search for this IP. Okay, so we also here have the username. So somebody called Laura Ashton, who's logged on just over an hour ago. So it's now know the username, we got their IP. And we also can see here what port they're connected to. So they have a direct connection here to this port, fast each and it's 0-20. So let's click on this port here and let's shut it down. So it just says, are you sure you want to shut down the port? Which is fine. So I think I've contained the situation now. Let's do a quick refresh on the web page, load it up straight away. So response, let's try that again. Yeah, it looks perfect. Let's go back here and take a look at the server. Just make sure that everything is back running normally again. Make sure there's nothing unusual happening. So we go to the process explorer again. So again, we just give it a few seconds here to capture the stats. So Apache is now running at 10%. So looks good. Our response time is, is excellent from the server again. Um, that user is off the network at the moment. We'll deal with that afterwards. We know who it is. And from the user's point of view, everything's fine. 
and nothing else looks too unusual on the server. So that looks fine to me. So there you go. In a couple of minutes, you can go from a user problem to tracking it down to what server it is, to looking at what resources on the server are being impacted, then take a look at traffic statistics and see what applications are in use, find out what user is responsible for that, tracking them down to what port, cutting them off, managing the situation, and bringing the server back to, so that users are able to use it and access the resources without any delay. If you want to find out more about our integration pack for SolarWinds Online, please go to our website at netfort.com.